it's Tim from the Maths Team. Today we're going to have a look at a game that's easy to adapt for children of different ages. This is a game for two players. For this game you'll need a piece of paper with the numbers 1 to 6 written down either side, a dice and some counters or something that you can use as counters. Player 1 rolls the dice and then they try to match the number of dots on the dice to one of their numbers. And if they can do that, they cover it with a counter. Player two then rolls the dice and they try to match the number of dots on the dice to one of their numbers. And if they can do it, then they cover it. The winner of the game is the first player to cover all of their numbers. A slightly harder version of the game uses a piece of paper with the numbers 1 to 12 on either side and two dice. Player 1 rolls the two dice. They now have a choice. They can either add the dots on the dice together, 6 and 4 makes 10, and cover that number. Or they can subtract the number of dots from each other. 6 take away 4 is 2 and they can cover that number. Player 2 then does the same and again the winner is the first person to cover all of their numbers. For the final version of the game we use the same rules as last time so if player 1 had rolled a 5 and a 4 we can add the dots together to cover 9 or we can subtract the dots from each other to cover 1. But we introduce a new rule where we're allowed to multiply the quantities on the dice together. 5 multiplied by 4 equals 20. If any of our numbers are a factor of 20, in other words if any of our numbers divide exactly into 20, then we're allowed to cover one of those numbers. So 1 is a factor of 20, 2 is a factor of 20, 4 is, 5 is, and 10 is because all of these numbers divide exactly into 20. We're allowed to cover one of them. Player 2 then does the same and the winner is the first person to cover all of their numbers. Those are just some of the rules that you can use to play that game. Why not have a go at making up some of your own rules to play? I hope you have fun with it and I'll see you next time.